All right, welcome back, folks. And um, what I have here set up is uh, Poser 2012, and I'm going to show you guys a really quick. Um, basically, I want to show you guys how to use these memory dots. Uh, I have this weird setup, but uh, like I showed in the last tutorial, you can grab this and pretty much put this anywhere. The interface is pretty adjustable, um, and you have this little bar at the bottom of each tab that if you were to grab it you can pull it or you can expand it. Uh, these memory dots are for let's say I have this scene set up and this scene is really just for me to do some work um, some storyboarding so I don't really need a full scene I just need kind of a general idea of, uh, of where I want the characters and the props and stuff to be so I have this uh, monitor here and stuff like that and so maybe I want her to be able to have a position one position I want to maintain this first position and then I want the arm to maybe move up or something like that or maybe um, the head to to turn or something like that um, whatever the case might be uh, you don't want to have to click this character go into your library uh, and then start saving poses out because when you start doing it that way if I were to go in here and save this pose somewhere, create my own folder, and then put this pose into that folder, what will happen is it will save the entire scene. So every time I want that scene and I click that that pose, it's going to change the entire scene. So that's why these user interface dots are very important. And these memory dots are not just for user interface. Um, obviously we're going to use for poses but it's uh it's for the camera also so i may have the camera in a particular position and then i may uh want to be able to use other positions of the camera by clicking these dots so let's go to the poses and now as you can see there are some that are filled and some that are empty if i click the ones that are filled what's going to happen is this character is going to go into a different position but if i click the ones that are empty uh, I am setting a position. So let's say I, I were to move this arm. First, I'm going to leave the arm. Uh, no, we're going to do the head. So I'm going to leave the head there. First, I'm going to select it. Select it. And then I'm going to hit the uh, pose. And then I'm going to go. Let's say if I just. I'm not, I'm not even going to. I'm going to change the time a little bit. I'm going to 6. And then I'm going to hit W and turn the head <coughs> and then I'm gonna go down the timeline some more and then I'm going to turn the head uh, let's say let's say she tilts it down tilts her head down something like that and then I wanna go back to that original pose okay uh, so I can now go to this dot and click that and as you can see she goes right back to the original pose and so now I successfully made this animation to where her head's kind of moving like she's looking at the screen and then she goes back to the original pose and this pose can ha it can be with the eyes it can be the head it can be with anything uh, I can re-click it I can I can add another motion in there and re-click it and it'll add it uh, a lot of people have problems with trying to get rid of these poses so how do you do it well basically you just hit alt and click it Okay, so it's Alt or Option, depending on whether you're PC or Mac, and click it. So you click it to set the pose, Alt and click to get rid of the pose. All right, if you guys have any more questions, go ahead and give me a call. We'll get more. We'll get a little bit deeper into uh, animation and poses and stuff like that um, later, simply because it's a crucial um, tool or a crucial skill that you're going to need when dealing with larger uh, scenes and more complex characters. All right, so um, thanks for watching, and uh, I'll see you guys soon.